Здравейте, lovely people! Today I'm filming from the spot, on the spot. <laughs> Today I'm filming on the spot because we're going to climb Чернивръх or also called the Black Peak. Uh, we're going on the winter trail because it's winter, it's 19th of February. And uh, this is basically the fourth peak in highest peak in Bulgaria. 2290 meters and uh, as far as I know this is also the one of the windiest uh, peaks in Bulgaria. It's located in uh, the mountain Vitusha and uh, we're going to conquer it. For your preparation uh, for this trail well in the winter for sure you have to follow the winter mark which are the yellow black columns stables mark winter mark and um, well in advance have a very rich breakfast in carbohydrates and protein and uh, natural boosters for example matcha or green tea as I did this morning uh, because you need um, a lot of energy to climb it as we did for example we stopped our car in Dragalevci and from there we took a bus 66 and uh, it take us took us to uh, the hut Aleko from there it's one hour and a half uh, climb and as far as I know uh, this place the trail it's not one of the hardest one but uh, still don't underestimate it the weather today as you can see it's uh, extremely sunny beautiful no clouds at all and uh, in the city in Sofia it's like 16 degrees and here will be around minus 3 until 5 degrees which is extremely warm and hot for this area here <sighs> It's a very touristic place, especially in the summer, because uh, the summer trail it's uh, not that uh, difficult to, to walk and as far as I know it's also again one hour and a half, two hours a walk and uh, since I recently bought my GoPro camera today will be basically the first time I will film only using the GoPro camera so I'm gonna play with the features, I'm gonna play around with filming, uh, using different accessories. So let's see what we'll catch. In order to walk on this trail, you need uh, mountain shoes for the winter with good uh, grapple. Uh, also, I would recommend very warm thermal clothes. For example, right now I'm with ski equipment because it's the warmest one. Uh, and if you're with jeans or with your sunglasses, I would recommend better not to even start the trail. Uh, it's good to also have uh, the glasses that are specifically for protection in the winter sun because at some point the sun can become extremely, extremely powerful and uh, basically you will become blind because of the reflection of the snow. And uh, last but not least, uh, the trail uh, we took basically is going to or the Golden Bridges and from there there will be a turn where uh, you will take the uh, trail to Germany.
riding as hell. That's not really normal. And the weather is just perfect. editing the video I noticed that some of the videos weren't with the best quality because of the strong wind that day and um, well during our way I missed some important things so in this part here I will give you a summary of the whole trail and I will give you a few tips let's first start with uh, the parking uh, spot we decided to take our car to Dragalevci which is like outside neighborhood of Sofia and uh, there there is quite a big um, parking lot uh, you can park your car for free there for the whole day and um, there is a bus uh, with the number 66 with final stop uh, at the Cuteo Moreni uh, and from there it's like four or five minutes walk to Hataleko and why uh, we chose to do it this way is because especially if you're going to hike uh, in the weekends it's quite busy people are having the days off and um, in the early hours it's best to leave for the peak but if for example you do you just decided to leave uh, for Hataleko um, at some point uh, there is a extremely long uh, parking line for the cars and there is even a police car that are stopping cars at some point and you have to walk at least 20 minutes to reach the hut and with the bus you're only four or five minutes away usually um, between 2 and 4 p.m this is what we read online is um, that the police uh, is stopping cars from uh, going inside so you won't be even allowed uh, to go to the peak with car and moving to the trail itself uh, when you reach uh, the hut there you can have a cup of tea or coffee or start immediately your walk because it will be around one hour and a half um, there is a, a big Vitusha mountain uh, label uh, where you can take a picture if you would like. It's uh, right next to the uh, sleigh uh, place where usually kids are going down uh, with their sleighs. And from there, basically, uh, the trail starts. There are also marks and uh, a lot of labels uh, that you can follow. From there, you're going through the Golden Bridges or Zvaten Temustove which are actually a lot of stones um, and if you're going uh, in the winter there is a big possibility you won't even notice them, recognize them because they will be covered with snow. For us, um, I saw them on our way back because the snow already started melting a little bit uh, but uh, in the very early hours uh, of the morning 
they weren't even recognizable. Then you continue further um, and in around 20-30 minutes, depending on your speed, you reach um, a T uh, path uh, and you have to continue to the left. It's around the 50th, 51st uh, mark, winter mark. And uh, you'll see that basically that's the way to the top uh, and you have to start hiking. On this trail, it's usually very windy. Uh, I've heard that there are a lot of uh, clouds as well, so uh, bring your good equipment with you. Um, we also saw a lot of people with their sunglasses or with their jeans uh, hiking around, which was crazy because uh, even with their boots, I would say they will be slipping all the way down the whole time. It would be very uncomfortable for you. The trail is not that uh, difficult in my opinion uh, because um, the road is in good condition. There are a lot of tourists, a lot of people. So you're always, uh, hello, hello. You're always greeting someone on your way. Uh, I also saw a lot of uh, dogs. So if you have a dog uh, that is quite adventurous and have a lot of energy, bring it up um, with you. And when you reach uh, the hut uh, on the peak, uh, th there is a magnificent uh, breathtaking view, of course. Uh, you can recharge yourself uh, having a soup or meal, uh, hot tea or coffee, for example. It's very delicious there. Uh, what we ordered was a bean soup, uh, which cost us uh, 650 levels, which is 325 euros and uh, we had um, tea which was of course made from the hut and of course don't miss to take a picture with the wooden bear uh, because uh, it's a symbol of the peak and also because um, this is a memory to have it in your gallery and finally the the tips i would like to give you is first about the equipment uh, bring thermal clothes with you uh, you can also go with your winter jacket if it's um, extremely thick, warm. Um, but I would say uh, the ski uh, clothes are also a good option uh, from personal experience, I would say. Uh, for sure, you have to be with uh, winter mountain shoes with good grapeo. Um, and of course, bring with yourself some protein bars or some food that is rich in carbohydrates uh, so that you have some extra energy. Another tip to keep in mind uh, with you when uh, you decide to go to the mountains, in the forests, uh, in Bulgaria, especially if you're going to sleep or have food somewhere in the forest, uh, is always to bring cash with you. Uh, at these places, they don't have any ATMs or they don't have the equipment to pay with card. Uh, so they accept only cash. And last but not least, bring your good mood, enthusiasm and uh, your energy battery because you'll be definitely recharged after such trip.